Welcome back to my channel, Southern Tea Room. It's your girl, Lady J, bringing you the latest Ithima Rap Tea and Urban News. But before I get into the video, go ahead and get that thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So let's start off with the mother queen, okay? I'm Nika Tanya Mirage. So Nicki Minaj's Super Freaky Girl has gone number one on the U.S. Billboard and Digital Song Sales charts with the biggest, and let me say that again, the biggest U.S. Pure Sales Week for any song in 2022 because she sold over 89,000 units first week, and that's all pure sales, okay? Not streams. So people bought the record. So she is also the first lead female artist, not rapper, but the first lead female artist to debut multiple songs at number one on the Billboard Hot 100. And she is the first female lead or the first lead female artist to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 this year. And finally, she is the first female rapper to debut at number one on the Hot 100 with their solo song this century because the last female rapper to do that was Lauren Hill. So again, congrats to the queen. So all the shade the girls wanted to throw this week, all the slick shade, you know, Cardi, Megan, Missy, drink y'all water and mind y'all business all 2022, okay? Because you know this was a long time coming and Nikki definitely deserves it I mean the song is fire it's radio friendly it's a crossover song it's an end of summer anthem so it's fun the song is a hit and now she needs to drop the visuals because she gave the sneak peek last week and the video looks fire okay now I believe dropping the video will definitely keep the song stable and keep the streams up so I'm proud of mother Nikki okay I'm proud of mother you know especially over 12 years in the game that's not easy to do to still put up the numbers she does and to sell how she's selling is crazy so She's showing y'all that she has real fans, okay, and real supporters. No gimmicks, no sympathy, no payola, just dedicated ass fans, okay? So she is literally outselling y'all's faves. A lot of these rap girls claim to be the quote unquote it girl or the industry favorite, but yet they ain't matching or putting up half the numbers that Nikki is. So who's really the it girl? And that is no shade, okay? So let me know your thoughts on that. Now, the next topic I want to get into is making a stallion seemingly haven't responded to, you know, the shade that Nicki Minaj threw in her song, Super Freaky Girl Roman Remix, that she released last Wednesday. So yesterday, Megan took to Twitter and tweeted this. I'm not giving no energy to nothing that don't make me happy or don't make me no money. Which, are you sure, sis? Because, you know, last week you was going back and forth with Carl Crawford for the third time and been shaking some of the rap girls in your song. So, I mean, are you sure, baby? Okay. So, fans are speculating that this was her response to Nikki's call out in the Roman remix to Super Freaky Girl. And today, Megan posted to IG and her IG caption some found quite interesting. So, this is what she said. Hoes go under the knife, still ain't cut like me. So now fans are speculating that this could also be indirectly directed toward Nikki. But my thing is, is this, it's plenty of these rap girls that have went under the knife, Cardi B included. I think she's one of the knife more than any of them, way more than Nikki at least. So she throwing shade at all of them to me with that one. So I wouldn't just say that was straight for Nikki, but hey, this is coming from the same person who claims that if it ain't directed, it ain't respected. Well, sis, <laughs> you have yet to direct anything. And I mean anything to anybody. And I mean, that's just what it is. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Now, speaking of Megan, her first week album sales have come out and she debuts at number four on the Billboard Hot 100 this week with 66,000 units sold and 8,000 of those were pure sales. Y'all... I like Megan. I do. And I appreciate the fact that, you know, she has bars. She writes majority of her music. You know, I respect that. But y'all don't be supporting y'all good sis like y'all claim because how do you be trying to drag me when I give sis criticism? But why don't y'all drag them sales higher? Because baby, 8,000 sales for a three-time Grammy winner and someone who has collabed with nothing but A-list artists the past two years is very concerning to me. But, you know, you guys let me know your thoughts on that. Now, the next topic I want to get into is Cuban Doll and Cardi B being indirect with one another once again. So Cuban Doll tweeted this, suing everyone is crazy, which I mean it is. And if you don't know what Cuban is talking about, well, Cardi is back threatening to sue more black women bloggers. She claims she wants to sue Black T Blog because she reported on the leak of Cardi's extended or solo version of Hot Trash, I mean Hot Shit. So if you want the tea on that, watch my last video, child. Anyway, Cardi, will, you know, she seemingly responded about 20 minutes or so later and basically said this at, you know, with the at symbol. So basically, you know, she's saying she wants Cuban Doll to at her, which I feel like if you already think the tweet is about you, which you obviously do if you want her to at you, then why does she need to at you? If the shoe fits, where the hell? Okay, so Cuban claimed that she wasn't talking about Cardi, but I mean, I don't believe that shit. Like, come on now. If you're going to be bold, stand on it, please. Don't get scared now. So, you know, let me know your thoughts on that. 
Now, my last topic has to do with Blueface and Krishan Rock, the talk of the internet the past month. Okay, so they have gotten to yet another fight. This time, Krishan punched the hell out of this nigga. And I know people have been seeing and hearing of Krishan Rock lately because, you know, she's a star on the rise. However, she is in an extremely toxic so-called of a relationship that might ruin her career before it really starts so i can't show the full video because i don't want youtube to flag me but it is all over twitter and ig go check the shade room go check neighborhood talk so basically she punched the shit out this nigga got arrested got bailed out only of course to you know be posted back up with this man that she has no intention on leaving which she has made very clear so she basically went on to explain how she too um or that blue face was texting a snow bunny and he was texting his baby mama and some other hoes and you know she was already off the henny so she you know had to put the paws on him she also went on to say how blue face was you know pulling her hair and how he takes her phone and goes through it all the time and how you know she was doing it this time and he didn't like that but my thing is like sis i thought you already knew this baby like you know this man is out here horn so why don't you match his energy and be about your bag and get out while you can? Because Krishan, I don't care. I'm going to keep saying it is more relevant than Blueface at this point. Krishan went on to say that, you know, their spiritual connection is too deep and she ain't leaving and how he is a great friend and great provider and lover, yada, yada. But my thing is though, sis. I didn't know a good lover slapped this shit out of you like he beat your ass two weeks ago. So my thing is, girl, like, you know, I get it. You love this man. But at some point, you have to love yourself a little bit more. It's something about her personality that attracts me to her. And, you know, she's so raw and so real. But I just cannot stand to see her with this narcissist of a man. If he can't respect his own sister or his own mother or even his baby mama, for that matter, what makes you think he's going to do right by you? So you guys let me know your thoughts on that. So remember, this is my commentary, my opinion. You can let me know yours below. I look forward to reading them. Don't forget to to give this video that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and lounge with me on instagram and twitter at my handles at southern t and that is southern t with two a's at the end i will see you in the next video